Question 26. Ability to taste PTC in some individuals is a character that is A. Acquired B. Heritable C. Sex-linked D. Morphological So, what exactly would be the answer here? This draws on your ability to distinguish between morphological and physiological variation. And for physiological variation, this is actually due to genes alone, as opposed to morphological variation which is due to the interaction between genes and the environment okay so let's look at the option again Ability to taste PTC in some individuals is a character that is, is it acquired? If it's going to be acquired, then it should involve the environment. But is that the correct answer? The ability to taste PTC is actually a physiological function it has to do with how your body works what is what your body is able to do so saying that it is acquired does not correspond to that because if you say it is acquired it is due to the environment and if it is due to the environment therefore it falls under morphological variation is it heritable for something to be heritable it means it must be genetic of course we could argue that morphological variation is affected by genes as much as physiological variation is also affected by genes so let's go to the third option sex linked sex linked would be that the traits controlling this particular feature or character is found on the X chromosome. Which makes it equally genetic. And then finally, we have morphological variation. So which option best addresses the question in front of us? If you say it is acquired, we've already said that that will fall under morphological. But you cannot particularly see the ability of someone to taste PTC. It is not something you can see. The person has to tell you whether he, he or she is tasting PTC or not. Okay? So, saying that it is morphological does not answer that question. Then heritable, yes, it can be heritable, okay? And we know that uh, both physiological and uh, morphological depend on genes, right? But however, since we have eliminated morphological generally, we are also going to eliminate morphological for option B, okay? Option C says sex-linked, which means that the trait is found on the X chromosome. Finding the trait on the X chromosome implies that it is genetic, which is neither here nor there, because both physiological and morphological are genetic. Then D, morphological, can we see it? The answer is no. So the best answer for this particular question is heritable, in the sense that the ability to taste PTC is not something you can see, but it's a function of how your body works. And then secondly, because physiological variation is based on genetics, 
this makes option B our most likely answer.